Today we are going to check out Depew Campground in Canal Point, Florida. Well, let me just tell you, this is by far the best free campground in the state of Florida, packed with beautiful, beautiful surroundings. The campground spaces are huge. Showers, bathrooms, I mean, does it even get any better than that with a campground that's free? Most of them don't have that, but Depew actually does. So let's get started and see what this campground has to offer. One of the best free camping spots in all of Florida. Located at 22500 Southwest Canner Highway, you're going to enter in gate 3. Come up to the gate. You will actually put your gate, the lock code in. You do need a special use license. I will have the link in the description and then you just open up the gate to exit. Okay, now when you come in, if you are camping without horses, you're gonna stay to the right. Awesome, thank you. You're gonna stay to the right. You're gonna come down the dirt road. I am showing you this because, yeah, I had a hard time finding this when I got here. I ended up at a hunting, it's part of the hunting camp. <laughs> These sweetest older gentlemen helped me. So you come in, come down the dirt road on the right hand side. If you are staying on the equestrian side, you do have to have at least one horse with you. Otherwise, you come to the non-equestrian camping side. When you get to the stop sign, you're just going to go to the right. The camp post is located right here, so if you need anything. And then once you get in, you just pick your campsite. And let me tell you. This is one of the most beautiful campgrounds that I have ever seen. And it's free. It blows my mind. There are quite a few more people here today than there were yesterday. Now this one does also have showers and it does have bathrooms. So not all of the campgrounds actually have showers and bathrooms but this one does so let's go check out the showers and bathrooms because i snagged a spot right in front of it four showers here decent size they come in every day and clean them which is nice so let's take a peek at one of the showers they do have one that is um, handicap accessible as well so we'll look at this one So nice and big, nothing fancy, but you know, hooks and area to put stuff, your shower. And then this is one of the regular ones. So this one has your seating area separate, your shower, and then your hooks as well. And hey guys, if you love adventures and you love real honest reviews, don't forget to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, let me know your thoughts, and then also subscribe to the channel. That way you stay up to date with all the latest adventures. Oh, the bathrooms now, they've got men and women's, but we're gonna look at the women's. Men's probably gonna be pretty much the same. So they've got areas to hang stuff if you need to. They've got two regular stalls and then a big handicap stall as well as well. I will tell you, <laughs> the water is weird. So it's literally like two springs and it will shoot up at you. So, you know, there's always some little work. But over here, they have the areas where you can put your horses. There's campgrounds back here, which is part of the equestrian side. And then it comes all the way around. I mean, tons of trees tons of shade um each campsite has the picnic table and a big huge fire pit i mean this is seriously like one of the best fire pits i've seen camping 
and then it also has the grill top as well for you to cook on but it's huge and then nice picnic tables that are in great shape and y'all look seriously like so much shade and it is it's such a nice breeze it's such a beautiful breeze and then they also have let me come to this corner and show you because they've got some pretty cool pavilion areas too that you can use as well so right here they have the pavilion and then the you know driving area to where you can just go all the way around so i have to say um number one i mean you can't beat free like hello free to camp here is insane um, because a lot of the free campgrounds through the state of florida with the um fish and wildlife management they are dispersed camping so they don't have bathrooms and showers and this is one of the few that does it is about 35 minutes from palm beach um so you're close to phil foster park you're close to juno beach jupiter um you know all of the beaches in palm beach so it is it is really nice and then right up the road about 10 minutes down the road is i think it's called indian town or indian wood i'll look it up and put it in the video but it's a you know small town but they do have like an iga grocery store they've got a mcdonald's they've got um gas stations they have a family dollar dollar general so you're not far away to get items that you need especially ice um and firewood which is key so this is definitely one to hit up especially if you're traveling on a budget or if you have no budget and all you've got is gas this is one of the best places to stay at they do have non-potable water so you will need to bring in your own water um, for drinking and for cooking because the water that is here is non-potable so uh, but they do have that at least so pro tip for camping it does not have to be expensive you can actually eat very cheaply and still eat well so last night I had chicken nachos tonight I'm gonna have chicken tacos so I just got a small thing of chicken I cooked it all up last night I didn't want raw chicken in my cooler so this is ready to go we're just reheating this we're reheating some beans and we're gonna have some chicken tacos so let's get cooking you know make it easy I've already cooked the chicken with the sauce yesterday so I'm just gonna dump it back in there and I'm just gonna add the beans right next to it and do it all in one pot because let me tell you it's gonna make it much easier to actually cook and clean up because you know when you're going camping like seriously who wants to spend all of their time washing an insane amount of dishes you don't hate I'm using canned beans, but you know what? It's easy and they're cheap. And by the time you put all the fixings on it, it's still good. Now this is truly going to be a one pot meal that is super easy to do and fast because I went out and filled a couple of spots today so you know it's nice to come back get a shower and then have a really quick dinner to put together. You're just going to put the lid on and voila dinner is going to be ready in like 15-20 minutes for our fixings. We got fresh avocado and yum. And then sharp cheddar cheese, sour cream, lettuce, and tomato. And let me tell you, sitting around a campfire eating tacos, it's gonna be a good dinner. So. Another thing I do is I pre-cut all of my lettuce when I buy it, and then I put it in Ziploc bags, put it in the cooler, makes meal prep super easy, whether you're having a salad or a sandwich, 
burger, tacos, whatever it is. Um, you know, I had it with my nachos too. There you go, guys. Quick, cheap, and easy. Those three things, absolute must when you go camping. Clean facility, clean bathrooms, clean showers, which is nice because not all of them are like that. I just stayed at Gilcrest Blue and let me tell you, it was not pretty. <laughs> it was not pretty at all. One of the cons though here, I will tell you, is the mosquitoes are thick. They are thick and they're the big Florida mosquitoes where you can hear them buzzing around your ear and they like, you know, take a pint of your blood every time they bite you. So be sure you have tons of bug spray. Um, you know, I'm using the off deep, the deep woods and I don't know, they seem to be immune to it because I'm still getting bit. So if you can get over that part of it, that truly has been the only con. Um, is just the mosquitoes flying around. I can hear them in my ear. <laughs> Other than that though, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video showing you this amazing free campground in the state of Florida. That's close to Palm Beach. All right, guys, until the next video, get outside, make some memories, and I'll catch you on the next adventure. Bye.